Hey, dear CDL students. Uh, recently, a student on the comment page said, please, hey, Trucker Steve, uh, show me a video with the steering tires. I want to see the, the turning the wheels of the steering tires. So as you back up, you can, he can see the tires turn to the right, turn to the left as the trailer backs into the alley dock. And I told him I'll do my best to try to get a video in showing that. But it's all about motor skills. I talk a lot about motor skills is doing a process over and over until you naturally get it and it clicks in your head and you learn how to react to the trailer. So what is motor skills? So if we look up in Wikipedia, motor skills is a function that involves specific movement of the body muscles to perform a certain task. And these tasks includes walking, running, riding a bike. So also it includes backing up a tractor trailer. We are training our hands and feet and brains to work coordinated also to react to certain movements of a tractor trailer. It's a fundamental movement skill that is uh, you develop the ability to move the body in coordinated ways to achieve certain uh, consistent performance as tasks as uh, bad in sports, combats, etc. Also, backing up a tractor trailer or doing your skills. Motor skills, on the range, backing. You are learning to react to your trailer. The trailer starts to drift to the left and automatically you stop it by turning the wheel to the left. You do this automatically. Once you do this automatically, you just develop motor skills. Once you develop this motor skills of uh, reacting to the movement of the trailer, you are now in control of the trailer. You can do all your skills. You can do parallel park, alley docking, etc., and straight line backing because you are now reacting to your trailer. You are no longer questioning where to turn the steering wheel. It is now automatic in your brain, and your, your brain triggers your hand to make the proper movements. When you add to your driving, I have my students go through many days, the first uh, three or four or five days, training their hands and feet to work together. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. We want to see if the hand and the feet are working together. So when you clutch down, your hand moves to the neutral. When you clutch again, your hand moves to gear. So once you have that, then you know how to shift or you'll be least be able to shift on the road, get your gears. When you're doing an alley dock. So I don't need to be looking at the steering wheel. It's all about the trailer and the tire. But mostly it's the trailer and the tire. So when I put a little small setup, at your range, you got to determine what's the length. Some of these, uh, at some of these uh, schools where you're testing, the trailer is pretty close to the alley. And some are, are at least a good distance away from the alley. So you have to learn how much angle to put on the trailer. I just put this trailer straight. So I just put a small angle on it. So if you learn how to uh, do your setup, that trailer... And then you get your wheel straight. That trailer is naturally going backwards. It's going to the alley. I haven't even turned it. And now when I get close, I can put the hard right on there. Because I know how to react. I see where the tire is. And I can hard right it to bring the tractor, the trailer in. All that's motor skills. And then I can do work of pull up, small pull ups. And to get it in the box. The same thing goes with. Your reverse offset backing. You know exactly when to start turning the wheel. As you first start off, you're not going to know that. You're not going to know that. You're going you're gonna to try to hit your marks. That's why we go around marks. We crawl and then we walk and then we run. I like to get my students to do an alley docking and never touch the brakes. And that is developing the motor skills. So now you understand, if you're one of my students, you understand what I'm trying to get you to do. They say, well, how come I'm not stopping to do this alley dock? And now I get you to run, to crawl,
the walk and then the run, trying to get it all in one movement. It's so much easier to put any tractor trailer in the box when it's, when he's moving very slowly and you're turning the wheel. It turns so much easier. Also, it's better on the gearbox and all that stuff. So, I hope this video helps you. Now you understand when you come to my range and I'm talking about motor skills, this is what I'm talking about. I am trying to be as patient as I can and get you to learn how to react to the trailer. So if I'm doing an, an alley dock, it's all about the movement of that trailer. I'm not sticking my head out the window, look at my wheels. I am reacting to the trailer. That is what back it is all about. Reacting to your trailer and knowing your setup. So at your school, try. First, you're going to do a straight line backing. Once you master that, then you kind of, you're doing your offsets. And your reverse offset, depending what state you're in. But you need to start learning to react to the trailer. Then start doing the alley docking. First, you start at maybe a 45-degree angle and then get it up to 9 degrees. And you will pass that CDL test. And it will click. So the first few weeks, you'll be all over the place. You'll be hitting cones. You'll be going out of the line. That's okay. Take a deep breath. Relax. What went wrong? Why did it go wrong? How do I fix it? Do it again. You might hit another cone. You do it again and again until the motor clicks. It clicks in. All of a sudden, you realize, oh my goodness, I know how to back it up. Turn the wheel. Make the trailer move. Fix it. Correct it. That's the only way you're going to learn. Learn how to use the right mirror. First of all, when you back up, you turn the wheel to the right and you look in the right mirror. And you don't look and you keep on looking at the right mirror. The trailer's going off to the left. You should be looking at the left mirror. Those are motor skills. You're looking at the wrong mirrors. Then it will smoothly click in and you will be looking at the correct mirror and looking at your trailer. Most of the time when you're backing in, you're looking at the left. The left is the most important mirror. The right, the right speeds up. When you turn the wheel to the right, it speeds up the movement of the trailer. When you move the wheel to the left, it slows it down a little bit. Just get out there and turn the wheel. Make that trailer move and you will be successful. Sooner or later, it will click. It takes time. Uh, you should be in, when you go in the range, every student should be in that truck at least no less than one hour per day. If your class size is so large and you can't get in that tractor and you're only getting in there maybe about 20 minutes a day, 25 minutes a day, that's not good. You may be at the wrong school. And those are situations where you have too many students in a class. But you should be in there no less than one hour a day doing skills. So hopefully this video helps you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, su uh, subscribe and look at my uh, playlist. I put two new videos on there from uh, Trucking Wins and Trucking uh, Truck Safe Consultants. So please look at those two videos if you have your CDLs already. Those are two videos that you must watch. Those are very important videos and very helpful to you. It is all my Trucker Steve YouTube page. I'll see you the next time. Have a good day and be safe.